Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're gonna to be going through uh, my email that I made for module one, and then we're gonna uh, go through the Excel document um, and some changes that we made, uh, that I made um, in there. So we'll begin here. So here we go, this is my email. <clears throat> Basically, you just have the client's name at the top, um, a very quick summary of what you'll find, um, and a summary table underneath. These are containing all the issues that I found. Um, and then another small explanation that is then followed by a, a more in-depth analysis. Um, yeah, so there's mitigation. Um, recommendation and uh, just a little explanation of uh, potential uh, influences that like the the errors might have on future analysis um, yeah so this is my full kind of write-up um, I, I looked at the answers and it's pretty similar uh, their table is slightly more concise but yeah so you can just pause the video and double check with your results okay so here we go um into the excel file if we're looking at module two um so basically the first thing that we want to do is use we're going to use focus on the transaction sheet and we're going to merge the customer demographics uh into the transaction sheet and we're gonna go. Say so we're gonna so from from the gender, from gender onwards, we're gonna merge into transaction. So I'm basically just gonna name this gender. Make sure we make sure it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, and the best way to do this is VLOOKUP. I think um, there might be another way. Um, but this is the way I'll do it. So we're going to look at the customer ID. So it matches exactly. If you go comma, go into customer demographic, we select the entire table. It's the fourth column, which is where the four comes from. And then just fill that out down. There we go. So, oh, okay, so there, there are some errors. You just have to add some dollar signs to fix those so the table doesn't move. There we go. And then, oops, fill it through again. <laughs> Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now we just need to add the rest and this process will be repeated again and again. So I'll just do it. Um, you can skip through on the video if you would like. Just copy this. Paste into transactions. There you go. And then same thing with VLOOKUP. I'm just going to copy it. Oops. Sorry. Control Z. There we go. VLOOKUP. And we just need to change the column number because we're going across one. That's five. Fill that out. Okay, looks good. And then same thing here. Change to six. Change the format because it's the date. Short date. And you look up seven. Yep. Looks good.
Um, I just realized why it's giving me an error message. That's two equal signs. Okay, there you go. And then final two is 12. And the last column is gonna be 13. Okay, nice. So once that done, um, we're gonna add a comparison date. So we're gonna make it, um, so we need to have a look at the, the sold date. Oops, not this one. Yep, the transaction date. So the latest one, it's gonna be sometime in December. I'm just, just I'm gonna sort it to check. Computer is frozen. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, so the last date is 30th of December, 2017. So we're gonna put that date into the comparison column that I just made. 17. And then we're gonna add, oops. We're gonna add a new column and we're gonna call this one recency. So it's gonna be how recent the, how recently um, a customer bought a product. So for that, we're just gonna go the, um, we're gonna use the comparison date minus whatever date you have in the transaction date. And make sure there's dollar signs. Yep, zero, because it's the same date here. I'm gonna fill that through. And I'll just double check that it worked well. Yeah, so you have all these whole numbers. If you have any numbers with decimals, um, something went wrong, you need to just double check that. Maybe your previous calculation was wrong. Okay. Great, so now what we need to do is we need to create a pivot table. So you go insert, pivot. Yeah, that looks good. So that'll just select everything we have here. Okay, there we go. And then um, we're gonna use custom, we need customer ID, that's in the rows. And then recency will go in the values. We need transaction ID. Sorry, product ID, um, and then profit. Okay, there we go. And then we need to change. So for it's sum for profit, and it needs to be count for product ID, and for recency it has to be minimum. So we're looking for this lowest amount for each customer. Hey, that looks good. Um, and now we're gonna add a couple scores. So R score, um, F score. and M score. So they, that stands for recency, frequency, and monetary. So that's just the, uh, that's RMF value. So we're gonna add them up to see the RMF value. And then this column, uh, we're gonna call it um, for the customer. It's gonna be like the customer title. So it's gonna, it's gonna, this index is gonna show us um, basically which are the, the best customers and uh, what basically sales need to focus on. Just bold it. Okay, so to start getting a score, what essentially we need, to, we need to uh, find the different quartiles for each, for each category. So we'll start off with, um, recency so we'll do Q we'll do minimum Q1 median Q3 and max and the code for this is just quartile it has to be included and then 
we're using the B, we're using B4 all the way down to the bottom. Just trying to. 3496 actually. We need to fix that. <laughs> um, there's one extra ID that we're, we don't, we're not using. So, 3496. Oops. Make sure you, so we need to put dollar signs around it so it doesn't move the, um, the table. And then we're going to go comma zero to get the minimum value. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get rid of this last number. So that's, yeah, so it's, we're only gonna go up to 3,500. Because that's the ID that is, um, that's the customer ID that's consistent across all, all the sheets. So we're gonna go down, copy all these through. We're gonna change that to one for 25th percentile. And so on. There we go. So we have these values now, and we're gonna base, we're gonna use them. Uh, we're gonna do the same for the F and M score. The most important thing here is uh, the RFM value. Um, so we're basically just trying to determine which is the best customer for um, the, for Sprocket Central and what they need to, uh, which customers they need to uh, focus on, basically. Um, yep. So see you in the next video.